PDT. What's up, money geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, we are going to talk about the PDT rule in day trading. So, this is something that's very important depending on the account type that you have. So, um, again, this is part of our series on how to make $250 a day uh, day trading. So, again, we started this series. We talked about basically choosing the platform that you need for trading. We talked about which account types that you have to open. Again, I'm going to hook the playlist for all of this uh, right here so you can definitely go check it out. So we've talked about um, the platform. Uh, we talked about account types. We talked about your budget, which is very important. How much money do you need to get started? So today, uh, one of the most important things that you have to worry about is PDT, which is kind of like a control mechanism so that people um, that don't qualify or don't meet certain criteria don't go around uh, trading and manipulating the market. So that's the thing. Uh, in my personal opinion, I think is BS, but that those are the rules we have to play by. So I, was, I want to cover that in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to day trading, guys, there are certain rules of the game that we have to follow. We don't make the rules. The rules are made by Wall Street, and then we just have to follow them. Because if we don't follow them, you don't get in the game. And me and you, uh, retail investors, we really don't have any power to control those rules. Those rules are set, and then we just follow them. So one of the key rules or most important rules, in my personal opinion, is the PDT rule that a lot of um, retail investors have to follow. And this comes as a result because as retail investors, we start with small amount of money. Again, like I said, I did a video on uh, talking about your budget, how much money you need to, to start day trading. So they've set these rules where if you have over $25,000 in your trading account, uh, in a margin account, you can trade as much as you want. You can go in and out of trade like crazy and no, nothing, no implications. But if you have less than $25,000, they have some regulations there. I don't know how they came to uh, that $25,000 uh, point. I don't know why 25, um, but those are the rules. So we just have to follow those rules. So before we even like jump in and I'll give you guys uh, the ways to get around the PDT rule, I want us to kind of take a look and just understand the definitions and see how this PDT really works. So again, if you go to um, Investopedia, uh, PDT stands for Patent Day Trader. And so again, this is, uh, somebody that has less than $25,000 in the account and you execute more than three day trade in the five business day cycle. So if you take a look here, read through this again, I, I can put a link in the description so you guys can go out and read this for yourself. I think it's very important to understand and read this again. This is for people that have under $25,000 in your margin account. So if you own a margin account or you have a margin account and you have less than $25,000, the rule is you get three day trades in the five business day cycle. So let's jump. I want to show you guys um, this in Weibo as well because so, that's a platform I use. Again, the definition is pretty much the same. Um, if you have $25,000, you can trade unlimitedly. Uh, if you have less than 25, you get three day trade. So three day trade, a complete day trade would be a buy uh, security A today and sell it today. A buy security B today and sell it today. And a buy security C today and sell it today. So those are three day trades because I went in and out. There are some other nuances there and I can put um, that in the description so you guys can understand even better. But once that happened, you have to wait five business days before you can get another three uh, uh, day trades in your account. Then in that case, if you if you do a day trade uh, when you are under that PDT rule, you get in trouble. They'll risk your account. They can freeze your account for 90 days. So now that's for people that have a margin account. So again, I'm going to recap here. If you have a margin account and you have under $25,000, you get three day trade on the five business day cycle. Now let's flip over to a catch account, which is uh, the account that is best suited for people that have under $25,000 in my opinion. So if you have under $25,000 in your account, I'll say you should have 
a cash account. And the reason is because there is a loophole here that me and you can actually get around to be able to do unlimited day trade. So with a cash account on the Weibo platform, and I'm assuming most of the other platforms as well, you can do unlimited day trade. The only thing here is that you have to use money that is settled in your account. So if you use funds that is not, that's not settled, then you can buy. But if you sell before the cash settles, you get in trouble. You get what you call a good faith valuation, GFV. So in this case, let's say you buy security A today in your account, it would show you in Weibo if your cash is settled or it's not settled. So when you look on your settled cash, it would show you, let's say you have $1,000. You settle cash. You go out and buy, uh, let's say, security A, and you spend all $1,000 on that security. And then it moves up and you sell it for a profit. You take, you, you now you have, let's say, $1,100 in your account. And then you see another security that's moving. You think this thing is going to keep going up. Then you buy that. that. At that point, that money is not settled yet. So if you buy it again, you turn around and sell it, you get flag. You get the GFV flag in your account. You have to wait two days you got t plus two so it takes two business days for that money to settle if you buy and sell that before you can uh, actually use that cash again so you can use unsettled cash to buy but if you sell before the cash gets settled you get flack you get punished with gmv but the other way to reduce the amount of time that you have to wait for your money to settle is if you do options options usually takes one day Whereas if you just do stocks, it takes two business days. So that's something I want you to have um, at the back of your mind. So uh, guys, again, that was just a simple explanation on how you can go around uh, the PDT rule. Again, if you have a margin account and you have less than $25,000, then you're restricted to three day trade in a five business day cycle. So the best way for you to do is get a cash account so that you can do unlimited trades and then uh, once you have over $25,000, you can convert that account to a margin account that will give you unlimited trade. And then I've actually explained how you take your cash account and make it so that you can trade every single day. Um, if you have $1,000, like I said, I want you to do a mental split. So in your brain, split that money into two $500. So you use the first one today to trade and limit to that $500. And then tomorrow, you use the other 500 to trade where you're giving the one that you traded with today time to settle. And then the day after tomorrow, you can have the money that you traded with today settle in your account so you can use that to trade. So that's pretty much the way to get around this whole PDT rule and get around the, P, uh, the, the GFV rule. So that way you don't get flack and you can continue to trade. Again, I don't make these rules. Those rules are set out there for us. Uh, two things you have to worry about GFV if you have a, a cash account and PDT if you have a margin account. So know how to navigate those two to make you consistent with your trading every single day. So let me know again in the comment section if this makes sense or do you have issues with this? Have you been flagged uh, by Weibo or any of the platforms? I know for sure um, Weibo, if you are flagged the very first time, you can call and talk to them. Uh, they're really good at uh, listening and understanding. Uh, they would probably get rid of the PDT in your account or the GFV in your account. But if you do it again and then it follows the, the amount of time you have to wait, which is usually for GFV, if you if you if they forgive you the first time and you value it again, what's going to happen is they're going to have to freeze your account. You can only use settle cash to trade. Um, you cannot use unsettled cash anymore. And then for PDT, if you get a PDT forgiven and then you go out and really break the rules again, you get flack for 90 days, which you don't want to be in that situation. So definitely be very careful. That's it for this video, guys. Again, I'm going to put the playlist up here for this series so that you can definitely go watch it step by step and follow this um, along the way. If you're new to the channel, guys, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And also, guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, again, my platform of choice is Weibo. They currently have a promotion where if you sign up and deposit $5, you get free stocks at no cost to you. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.